Okay, I'm gonna give you, because I've been promising, a quick walk around our apartment. This is the peephole that is actually high enough, low enough for Amber and me to see out of. Okay, this is our entryway. We have mat floors down, puzzle floors, because every floor in our apartment, with the exception of one, is this same tile. It's really good for the humidity, but really hard on the knees and feet because it's all on concrete. Say hi, Amber. Hello. Um, we solved this by wearing slippers. So you wear these. You wear these squishy flip-flops or some kind of slipper to keep your feet, oops, I dropped mine, to keep your feet comfortable. So this is our entryway. You have to forgive some of the messiness. We obviously just moved in. So you come into the entryway and on your left, you have our kitchen area with our dryer and this lovely piece of furniture, which was a pain in the neck to move, which is full of our winter coats on one side. And the other side right now is all of our recycling. We'll get that fixed later. And the dryer and our stand and then our tiny little fridge, which is pretty adorable. Amber, can you come be size comparison? Um, and my adorably, hilariously tiny kitchen, which actually isn't that small for Taiwan. You can see here, uh, we have these gas uh, plates here, and I turn them on down here, but I have to light them from up there. They don't have a sparker. And the gas lives out here on our patio with our washing machine. Um, you can see, it's very windy, that's gonna slam, okay. Uh, right here are our gas cans. This one does the cooking, and this one does the hot water. And when they run out, you have to call the company and say, hey, my gas ran out, can you come replace it? And he shows up on his motorcycle with gas cans on the back. They drive like maniacs. Um, and they replace them, and it costs about 800 NT to have it replaced. Uh, for reference, a thousand, yeah, they're tiny. Thank you, Amber. Really, really small. <laughs> for reference, Barely a thousand. Both of us for cooking and making yeah, a thousand NT is uh, three hundred dollars. Nine hundred NT is three hundred dollars. No, thirty dollars. Nine hundred NT is thirty dollars. So you can see for reference, Amber in the kitchen, and me in the kitchen. Amber washes dishes and cook. Doesn't fit. Very bad. Amber, can you stand by the fridge? So our fridge is Amber height. Smaller than me. And but that's okay. Got enough room. We have very little food right now. We're um, kind of poor at the moment. <laughs> Once we get paid, there'll be better, more food. Although it doesn't really matter that much. No, no, it's the chicken stuff. So, um, it's it doesn't really matter that much because in general you either go eat out because the food here is really really cheap. We're talking you know two or three hundred NT for a meal at for, for an expensive meal for two people. Um, so this is our living room. All the furniture that is here came with the place. We haven't purchased any furniture yet. We still want to have a table of some kind, a kitchen table, because you can see we have a lot of space here. It's a really big place for Taiwan. Yeah. This is, huge. this is quite large. Amber and I have a three bedroom apartment. So you have the kitchen, and if you turn your back to the kitchen and go over here, you have our big patio, which right now has all of our laundry on it. Open this door. You dry your clothes out here. Adam and Whitney, take note. So we've got this big patio, which is quite nice. Very high. Um, this is this ledge. Oh, you see my bra? This ledge here is almost my shoulder height. And you can see just barely out there. You see right along there, that's a mountain kind of in the distance. And it's hard to see properly, but right about there is the river. They had fireworks over it uh, two nights ago yep. for Valentine's Day. Which was also my birthday. Which was also Amber's birthday. It was Monday. Um, and then this building and this building and this building, that building, that building. Those are all part of our um, community. All part of the same community. We live, amazingly enough, we left North America and we're living in a community named California. <laughs> Fun times, eh? California. So, you come in, that's that whole area, and then you have this hallway. Back up. Oh yeah, my branch gave me a bike. I have this adorable thing. It really needs to have its chain greased, but for those of you who know what you're looking at, 
I managed to find some Pedro Sin Lube. I was very pleased. It ended up with me like picking up a bottle of lube and going, whoa, y'all, and him being really confused. And also, for those who know anything about bikes, plastic. Yeah, my cranks are plastic. <laughs> uh, we're gonna see what happens. But it was a free bike, right? And it's named Dearest, or it's called, it's a Dearest brand bike, so we'll see. I haven't ridden it yet. I got the guy to change the saddle height for me, but I, I'm gonna ride it tomorrow, I think. I still need to grease the chain. So, you have this hallway, and then first door on the left, you have our TV room. And this is the only room that doesn't have tile floors. It has these lovely wood floors. Really nice. They're quite nice, we like them a lot. So you come in here, you've got a couple of chairs. Yeah, yeah, they're fake wood. You look around here, it's a very small room. It has our TV. That our TV, work. oh my god, this TV is useless. So useless. You can see every room. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Uh, this room cools off really fast. But for reference, it is currently 31 degrees in here. Yes, you can see. On the thingy. Up there. 31. 31 degrees. It's very hot. It's also cool for here right now. Yeah, this is actually not bad. <laughs> this is kind of nice. Um, this room has an air conditioner. We don't use it. The room is too big, so we simply leave all the door, all the screen doors open and this fan spins. For reference, we are on the 16th floor, which is the top of our building. So this is our little guest bathroom. We were thrilled to have two full baths. So if people come to visit, they can use this one. There will not be that stuff in the tub at that point. But yeah, again, floors are all tile, drain in the corner. Note, no shower curtain. None at all, you don't use them. There's no point, you simply shower off and the water runs down the drain there. Um, let me turn off the light here, lights out here. Uh, so straight at the end of the hall, you have these lovely curtains, uh, is our study. Kind of got a couple of desks going on. We've, well, we have a vanity and a desk. We haven't started using this room yet, but once we have homework and stuff to grade, we will. And also, again, in tw it's 29 in this room. There's a window open. You can see there's a window open. We don't have the window open in the TV room for some reason. It doesn't really matter. But again, these rooms actually cool off quite quickly. It's nice, partially in thanks to these tile floors. And the concrete walls. And all the walls are concrete, so they don't really hold that much heat. They're not too bad, they change temperatures pretty quickly. And then this is our bedroom, it's a little messy right now. Usually it's been quite nice. Uh, it's filthy right now because I was hunting out our passports for the internet. Um, so you can see our yeah, Ikea Amber curtains. Amber's a real teacher now. Amber's a real teacher. <laughs> so we don't have um, pillowcases yet. These are actually our cotton um, bed things. Yeah, our, co our cotton sleep sacks, sleep sacks from REI. They work. Um, our Ikea curtains, all this furniture came with it, but Amber nearly killed me when we were moving in because I moved everything. I moved every single piece of furniture in this apartment. I even moved the giant table in and out of one room and she nearly had a heart attack from that. These are our XX towels that Jen and Luke gave us. Thank you, Jen and Luke. Um, we had a lot of fun the first night we were here because while we had a sheet set, these pillows are purchased locally, so we had to go find them our first night. Hmm? This is our bathtub with our little alligator dude in it, also from Ikea. Uh, some things here from Ikea are very cheap. Some things at Ikea are very expensive here. Kind of depends on what you're looking for. We've got a little window and, you know, it's just a little bathroom. Again, no shower curtain, none at all. No point. You've got a drain in the floor. For people not who have not yet visited Taiwan and are going to come visit us, ha ha ha, because you're all going to come visit us, because we have so many extra rooms, and our our side room, our back room, our, our den, is eventually going to have a futon in it for people who want to come visit. So, for those of you who have not visited Taiwan, and are going to, all of the piping here is actually pretty bad, so you don't actually put your toilet paper down the garbage, or down the um, toilet, you put it in the garbage. Which is a little interesting, and has led to some fascinating culture shockiness. When we first got here, um, we didn't exactly know what to do with it. No, it was a little odd, and the toilets don't flush very hard, so... Yeah, you get used to it, though. You get used to it, but so you all have, you have little, like, uh, garbage cans in all the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so that's our little apartment. Um, um, piece of paradise here in Taiwan. We're gonna do another video from upstairs on the roof, too, because our view is positively gorgeous. Yeah, but there's no point in doing it at night, really, because the 
the camera doesn't pick up good light from, at night, as you saw off the balcony. So we'll do it from the daytime and you can see around. And it's just beautiful. Really nice. Absolutely beautiful. Because we're only one floor off the roof. We can go up a set of stairs and be on the roof. Mm -hmm. And it's big, flat, concrete area. We'll do another video for that. Um, I think that's it. Okay. So, bye guys. See you later.